Welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense Ride Along. In today's Ride Along is going to center around a fragrance that has been hyped up in the community and rightfully so. I was late to the hype train. I'm going to share it with y'all just in case y'all don't know. Y'all ain't. This one is a cold weather staple. I feel like it's a gentleman's repertoire. And that's none other than Bentley for Men and Tents. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. I've had this fragrance for a while in my collection and I, it's made several top tens. This one actually features the note bay leaf, iris, patchouli, leather, rum, all of those great things. And it has a subtle creaminess that I really have come to enjoy. We'll probably wear on a date. It's office safe. I'm wearing it into the office today. Originally when I smelled it, I thought it was just probably a bit too mature because I was a bit immature. I have since matured, grown up quite a bit <laughs> and come to the realization like, hey, this fragrance is probably a better suit for me than I would have originally thought, suggested, and or complied with, right? Here we are. You know, I try my hardest to rock with fragrances that are indeed staples that bring some a note of value to the community. And today, this is no stranger. I tested this fragrance with a couple of individuals and let them get an understanding of what it is, what it does, what it doesn't do. And clearly, this fragrance does not back down to a challenge, right? I believe this fragrance is, it leans in my opinion, a bit more masculine, a little bit more strong, has an edge to it. I don't believe it's overtly supposed to call it that. It really engages the senses. And I'm of the mindset that when you engage my senses, you engage everything. So I sprayed it, a couple sprays across the chest and neck. Uh, let's break it on down for, you know, the very important factors that I consider when selecting a fragrance you purchase, okay? Price, right now it's running for about maybe about 30, 30 40 bucks. I feel it's 10 out of 10 on price. It's a very well-rounded and blended fragrance for the price point. Performance. The performance on the fragrance, I believe, is an 8 out of 10. It's just a little closer to the skin, but I'm not mad at that at all. I honestly feel like that, for the type of fragrance it is, I believe it is excellent. It lasts roughly about six and a half hours on my skin. And I've noticed that my skin is a bit drier. Drop a comment below if you want and need a cleaning routine that keeps you moisturized and smelling good, I got you. Let me know. So performance, I give it an eight and a half out of 10. Because since my skin is drier, I can't say that it just doesn't last. It's formulated well enough to last pretty decent in the cool months. And today is a cold day. Like I had my frost warn and go off in the car today so it's chilly i woke up feeling a little shiverish as well projection this one is not a large projector i think about one and a half feet radius and again i feel like it's soft siage but it's restrained and controlled in such a way that i don't know if this one is as designer as i'm used to I usually expect designers to be brash, loud, sweet, out there. It has an element of sweetness to it, but it's not an overtly sweet fragrance. Labdenum's in there, I think that gives us, in Benzwin, that gives it that uh, low-key, kind of incense-y, slow-burn sexiness. 
and I usually don't like fragrances with spices. I've said that a few times. I don't want to smell like a stew. So things like bay leaf and pepper and all of that. But it happens to work here. I don't know what the bay leaf adds. Maybe it adds that savory thing because it does have very smooth, suave, luxurious, classic, gentle about it. Is it a copper drop? I think I kind of let that cat out the bag while it was. Of course. And I waited on the hype train on this one and did not engage with it just because I felt like, okay, yeah, this is another hype fragrance, blah, 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 blah. And it's hyped for a reason, uh, to be quite honest with you. I also feel like there are several fragrances in my collection that give off the same vibe, but I wouldn't wear them all in the same settings. So for instance, this one I would probably wear more to work. Uh, something a little bit more formal of an event. I would wear the Givenchy Gentleman Le Parfum. I would wear that one on a date. Because I feel like it's a lot more heady, a lot more chocolatey, a lot more iris, a lot more sexy, cool weather, sweater weather type of fragrance. You know what I mean? Another one that's in a similar vein, but not the same, because it's a little bit more honey-ish, a little bit more danish -y, a little bit more gourmand, and that would be the Ferragamo Uomo. So these are all kind of similar vein fragrances. Not the same, but that would wear them in different settings. I would probably wear that one in a more playful setting. Probably a more of uh, a uh, going out, maybe a brunch on a cool, brisk autumn day, or uh, to run errands and uh, shopping, a little bit more of a social type of fragrance. I'll probably wear that more daytime social and the Givenchy nighttime social. This one will be more or less for work, I feel like, or a more formal event. I will wear this to a business meeting. I will wear this to just about anywhere. Malady, something that's a bit more, I want to say uptight, but a little bit more better dressed, if you will. Okay, driving, driving today, okay? That's gonna do it for me and I'm out.